Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I am recording this video is 14th of December 2023. I will be talking what 13th of December has taught me in life. Yesterday while preparing for Dinuvishesh which I upload on my channel, I searched for what happened on 13th of December in the history. I came to know on 13th of December 2001 there was attack on our parliament by a terrorist. Unfortunately, similar thing happened yesterday, but it was not terrorist attack, but it was attack by four people. Two uh, came inside the parliament and two were standing outside the parliament protesting the government and dictatorship, etc. Whatever slogans they had. So how come an institute like parliament get attacked? with this frequency with so much security placed so called security placed i wondered and probably that was the most important lesson for me that parliament security is not up to the mark most important news i came across yesterday is about isro planning to send a female humanoid robot before the gaganyaan mission what is her name and what are the details which have been given by the Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, about that female humanoid robo, I will be discussing in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. If you like all these discussions on this channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Most trending news I came across yesterday is about sad demise of a very famous Marathi actor, Ravindra Berde, uh, brother of uh, former Marathi actor Lakshmikan Berde, he has passed yesterday and uh, at the age of 78, that was the most trending news I thought I should share with you so as to give you more details about that. Most important lesson I got from yesterday's life is about security of parliament. We all know the parliament is the place where all the member of uh, elected members in the country after all the elections they uh, go there, they discuss various issues and each member represents thousands and lakhs of people in his or her constituency. So the security measures which are supposed to be taken at this place should be near the utmost or highest level. In 2001, parliament was attacked by <clears throat> lashkar -e tayyaba terrorist year, uh, and 22, after, 22 years after that incident, yesterday, the parliament was again security was breached and two intruders went from the viewers gallery and they jumped from that gallery and they jumped on the floor of the parliament they threw uh, many smoke canisters inside the parliament already uh, zero hour was going on so 40 50 parliament mps were there so you might be knowing more details about that but what lesson we all can get from this is that why can't we detect such breach in the security? How come they were allowed to do these things despite we heard of so much security of new parliament building etc. These are the most important questions we all need to discuss. For me as a citizen of this country, uh, the most important lesson I got from yesterday is that even parliament is not fully secure. Uh, there are so many places where you have felt that you have been you have been screened unnecessarily or too much security has been placed for common people it has caused many uh, problems to people uh, many pe people standing in the queue because of the security reasons but when it comes to security of the parliament yesterday we saw a major breach and that should not happen what is your opinion about that uh, if you have read more about that you might have heard that one person is from uh, Mysuru, Karnataka, one person is from Haryana, uh, one lady is also there amongst four who were detained and one person is from Latur district, Maharashtra. So all these four along with one fifth person who was having mobile phones of the, all those four people and uh, probably a sixth person is also involved in all this. When they entered into the on, on the floor of the parliament, they uh, gave slogans like dictatorship should end and uh, etc. Many other slogans also they uttered. What is most important is that we, we know all the story about Bhagat Singh uh, going on the floor of the parliament and protesting against British Raj. 
in around 1929-30. So, two young people in the age of 20 to 25 come to the floor of the parliament and protest against dictatorship. They threw smoke canisters also. They opened those canisters also. There was yellow smoke on the, in the parliament. This should stop. Security measures needs to be improvised. Now there will be many uh, incidences in future also if this continues to be like that. Uh, I came to know about new parliament difference between the new parliament building and the older parliament building that newer parliament building all the people enter through the same gate and there are there are no separate gates it was just like for the previous older parliament so that's that needs to be addressed and this should never happen our uh, constitution uh, most important place for constitution is parliament and parliament if it is getting security breaches like this uh, that's not a good sign of a good healthy democracy and that should not happen fortunately uh, nothing major happened uh, apart from those two people entering on the floor and jumping from the visitors gallery on the floor but nothing major happened that's a good sign but god knows uh, terrorists should not be uh, getting this information from all of us i would urge all the news media also not to discuss in details of how they entered and where they were doing and how they planned etc so that uh, other media people uh, other people in outside the country also uh, they should not know about how they entered etc so that's what my feeling is what is your opinion i would like to know most important news i came across yesterday is about vyomitra vyomitra is the name given to the female humanoid robot which would be going just into the space just before the Gaganyaan mission to make sure all the functions which are uh, supposed to work properly are functioning properly. Uh, Vyomitra, the name consists of two words in Sanskrit, Vyom and Mitra. Vyom means space and Mitra means friend. So she would be the friend for all the astronauts probably uh, who would be going into the space. That's why her name has been kept as Vyomitra. She is able to take conversation make conversations she is able to follow commands she is able to follow all the module uh, interactions also she has been trained in such a way this information was given by uh, science and technology minister dr jitendra singh yesterday in one of the ashtak media event and that's very good to know he also uh, reiterated the fact that space uh, the whole economy is growing for india also it is growing at a much faster rate than expected uh, whereas it is around 8 billion dollar it, it is expected to go up to 40 billion dollars by the end of 2040 plus india and isro are known to make all these uh, projects uh, available at a very cheaper cost just one of the most important example we have set in front of the world recently is chandrayaan 3 successful mission where we could able to study the moon in detail along with the water uh, molecules present there and various other elements detected plus it was done at a very cheaper rate as compared to the russian space agency moon projects so that's a good thing uh, if you want to know more about that please go to the description box and click on the link most trending news i came across yesterday is about very uh, sad demise of one of the most uh, famous actor in marathi film industry ravindra berde he was a brother of uh, late Marathi actor Lakshmikant Berde. You might have seen Ravindra Berde uh, in some of the Hindi movies also like Singham, Nayak also where Anil Kapoor, uh, Anil Kapoor was there featuring Anil Kapoor. He died at the age of 78 years because of the throat cancer. He was detected. He was under treatment at Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai. He just got uh, discharged two, a few days back. But uh, suddenly at his home he, yesterday he had heart attack and uh, because of the complications of the cancer he uh, developed heart attack and he died at home. So that's very sad news as far as Marathi film industry is concerned. Uh, Ravindra Berde will be known for all his comic actings and uh, good performances which he has given not only in Hindi movies but also significantly in the Marathi movie also. So that news I just wanted to share with you. Uh, may his soul rest in peace we would hope uh, and uh, for all the discussions if you really want to know more and if you want to watch uh, his
photo i'll be sharing link where you can read more about him most important lesson i got from yesterday about the parliament security breach is a significant thing and i would urge all the government authorities to take precautionary actions because we were fortunate enough yesterday that nothing major happened and this should never happen again that is the precaution all the government and home ministry also has to take what is your opinion about that what is your take on that do tell me in the comment box for today we'll stop here bye bye